Oh, hello dear. I got a quiggle for you. Question what I get asked lots. So, <clears throat> a lot of people ask me, hey, I got a microwave, saves a lot of time. Is it really as bad as people say it's unhealthy? Well, here's the answer. Not really sure. There is some research that shows that cooking foods in a microwave can destroy some of the nutrients, but I haven't seen any research, compelling research anyways, it's well designed, that shows reheating food is that bad. Personally, I don't cook food in the microwave. I do it all in the stove or the oven or the crock pot or the pressure cooker. But I think cooking food in the microwave superheats it, gets it too hot, and it destroys some nutrients. It does denature protein, but the jury's still out on whether that's actually that bad or not. I'm more concerned with the vitamins and mineral content, and microwaves are notorious for heating food in pockets. And in those pockets where the food is superheated, uh, those nutrients can be destroyed. I will, on occasion, use a microwave for reheating. I, I don't think it's that bad until I see really good, solid, research that says it's bad, I'm going to keep using it for reheating. But I don't use it for cooking. I do think that's bad. And as for cooking things in plastic bags or microwavable popcorn, oh, no, 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 please, no. <laughs> that plastic, that stuff, cooking plastic into your food, yeah, no. No, even if it says okay that the plastic won't cook into your food and it makes you promises, uh-uh, just don't, just don't do it, no, oh no. Now here's the other side of the microwave story. It's not just the superheating that causes a problem. Microwaves are notorious for emitting lots and lots of EMFs. We do know that EMFs are really bad for people, bad for the brain, bad for the cells in the body. What we don't necessarily know is how bad EMFs are for food. It makes sense if it's bad for our cells, it would be bad for food cells, but it's just, it hasn't really been studied. So all we can do is just kind of guess at it. I think it is bad for food cells, but I don't think that a food in there just long enough to reheat is absorbing enough EMFs to be a real problem. Once the microwave turns off, those EMFs are gone but do they have a lasting effect afterwards? Maybe. This is why I only reheat, and rarely. But just wanted to show you how much EMFs I'm talking about. This is electrosensor. Can you see it? Can you see it? And it's, it measures milligauss. I think I'm saying that right. If I'm not, and you know that I'm not, you're a serious geek. And uh, you, you may need to get a little bit more of a life. So here we go. We're gonna test my microwave and see how many milligauss is emitted. And this ranges from 1.5 milligauss up to 30 milligauss. And from what I found in my research, seven milligauss is kind of the threshold. And beyond that, with prolonged exposure, there's a potential for cancer, for cells to grow uh, uncontrolled, and which is what cancer is. <clears throat> so it can stimulate that process. Okay, I'm gonna turn this sucker on, and you can see the little eyes, there it goes. <clears throat> so here's the middle, this would be seven. And beyond seven, higher than seven, could be cancer potential causing stuff going on. Below seven may not be a real big deal. Here we go. Turn on the microwave. I'm going to start with it right next to the microwave. Let's go 55 seconds. Right away, bam, 30. It's maxed out. It's probably past 30 because it's 30 is as high as it goes. I'm going to move back, still 30, still 30, still 30. Okay, now we're toggling between the 21 and the 30. And now we're getting down to 11. 
still cancer, now we're getting back here. Still cancer, still cancer, still cancer. Here's cancer. Okay, now we're okay, okay? So right here, middle fridge, we're probably about four and a half feet away and it's not such a problem, but it's still spiking. See, occasionally it's still spiking out there. It's really inconsistent. But as I move back further and further, you can see less and less of a problem till all the way back here. And then it see the lights just go out when the microwave goes off. So no more. Wow, that's, that's pretty scary. That's freaking, I'm freaking. And haven't you ever watched your food cook? Haven't you ever done this? You're absorbing so much. That was crazy. So when I'm reheating food, like for instance, Bev's butter chicken recipe, yeah, there's about that much in there. So that's only gonna take probably, say, 44 seconds. I'm actually freaked out about hitting start at this point. Since I've seen the mini gauche this close, I, I don't think I want to. If I stand back here, my hand's still getting it. I'm not out of, out, safely out of cancer zone until I'm about here. I'm gonna go get a broomstick. So I feel like I'm, I'm far enough away, but you know what? Even when I was this far back, see my hand is still in cancer zone. My body's out of it. I was, I would still see an occasional spike into cancer zone, even where I am, my body is right now. I need more, I'm gonna go with more distance. Ha, <laughs> camera, it's a, a camera monopod adjustable thing here. So I think what I'm gonna do is hook this up. It was a good forearm exercise too. Literally, a lot of leverage going on there. Oh, missed it. Come on, oh, missed it. Come on, got it, move away, move away. Okay, so I think I'm in the safe zone right now. No cancer back here, let's just make sure I'm safe. Oh, look at that. Isn't that interesting? With food in there, it's so much more consistent. Let's try that again. Okay, here's without food. Move away, move away. All right, Let's see what we got. Look at that. I'm getting EMFs back here, but I'm definitely in the cancer-free zone. Let's see where my body is. Gosh, I'm, I'm getting a couple spikes, even way back here. Now, we're gonna try it again with Indian butter chicken. Ah, move away, move away. I'm getting better, getting better at that button. I got nothing. How about that? So let's move it up. Move it up. Moving it up. Moving it up. Okay, I'm all the way here now, where it's equivalent to what it was back there. That's fascinating. How about that? Since I've been dinking around so much, and reheating the reheated, it's cooked. So I can't eat that now. But interesting. Huh. That's absorbing microwaves, which makes sense. Because the microwaves, the energy is going into the food, which is heating it up. But it's also bumping down the EMFs. So does that mean that the food is absorbing those EMFs or does it mean that it's just absorbing the power so it emits less EMFs? I don't know, but it's a little bit creepy. Okay, well, there you have it. Now you've got uh, a live demonstration of um, what this means. What, what does it mean? I'm a little bit more creeped out about reheating my food than I was yesterday. Not enough to not reheat it, not enough to stop but enough to do it less 
So now when I'm on the edge and I'm thinking, eh, should I, should I not, I don't know, maybe I have time, maybe I don't, I'm going for the stove. There you have it, you've been quiggled. Another quiggle not really answered, but hopefully enough information there that you can form your own opinion. So if you're curious about quiggles, use the comment section below, ask me a question that you might have, or if you would like to subscribe so you can get lots of other unanswered quiggles, feel free to do so. Love to have you be part of the, uh, the group that does not get answers. Okay, bye-bye.